Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a Monte Carlo simulation with cost and profit. So let's get started. Here we have sales, variable cost, and fixed cost, and we have the expected or the mean, and then we have standard deviation. So everything's going to be built on these assumptions. So let's first calculate the profit. The profit is going to be the sales minus the variable cost minus the fixed cost, so that's 60000 And we can copy this formula over to our simulation. Okay, we know that's going to be the same calculation. So to simulate, we're going to assume normal distribution of the sales and variable costs and so on. We're going to use a function called norm inverse. So let me search for it here. Norm inverse. So it'll give us the number uh, with basically probability. And we're going to simulate this, and so we're going to randomize that first number. So the probability is going to be a random generated number between 0 and 1, and we know the mean is the 400,000, and the standard deviation is 34,000. That's what we're assuming. So here we've got a $360,000 uh, simulated sales. So we're going to calculate this all the way through for the variable cost and for the fixed cost. And you see every time that we make a, a change in the spreadsheet, it's going to update the profit. Sometimes it'll be a profit, sometimes it'll be a loss. So that's our very first simulation. And we're going to point to, you see it changes every time. We're going to point to that first simulation. And we're going to use a, a data table to do this a thousand times. So here on the home ribbon, let me do the series. And I'm going to put in a column add one to the one, stop when we get to 1,000. So it's going to give us 1,000 numbers here. And we're going to make this a data table. So I'm going to highlight everything. And we're going to go to the data ribbon and then what if analysis. And we're going to go to data table. Now, we have a column of numbers, but these are not really inputs. These are just um, different simulations. We're simulating the profit 1,000 times. So I'm going to just put an empty cell. So I'm going to do this empty cell here and hit OK. And it'll take a second to refresh. And so we'll see what we have is we have a 1,000 numbers uh, that are the profit. So we've simulated the profit 1,000 times. So I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to name this profit. So this is a named range. P-R-O-F-I-T, profit. And so now we have a named range, so we can do some uh, statistics based on this. So the mean is just the average. So the average, and I can just type in profit. You see, now it recognizes the named range. And so the mean is going to be 61,000. We predicted it would be 60,000. The standard deviation, the standard deviation, I will do the sample size here, standard deviation, the profit is 46,000, so a large standard deviation on the profit. But maybe some better numbers to look at would be something like uh, the percentile. So the percentile, I'm going to use a function called percentile inclusive, so including the 25%. So the array is profit, and we're going to use the 0.25 level, so the 25th percentile. So that means uh, 75 percent of the numbers are above in this case 25,989 25 percent would be below that now on the 50th percentile remember this is also called the median we could use the median function but let's just do the um, percentile here so profit and then 0.5 this is the same as the median if you ever need to know what the median is it's the 50 percentile it's the middle number same thing with the 75th percentile. We can do profit and 0.75. So these numbers will be relatively stable since we simulate um, a thousand of these. And so you see every time we change, so I'm going to do F9 and change. And those numbers will change a little bit, uh, but they're not very, very dramatic. So the 50th percentile and the, the mean are going to be pretty similar over the 1,000 uh, simulations. What we're worried about in cases like this is the risk of loss. So let's do a count ifs. Let's count how many um, negative numbers we have. 
So I'm going to do a count ifs. I need two things. I need the range, the criteria range, which is profit. And I need to know the criteria, which is going to be less than zero. All right, so less than zero. So it counted uh, 103 here, and I need to divide this by 1,000 to get a percentile, a percentage rather, and so about 9% of the time in this case, and that will change a little bit if we do F9 and recalculate. So 12% of the time, 10% of the time, 9.5% of the time, so on. Now, the key to all this is the function, this simulation. So that's how we get started. So let me do a formula text. To calculate the sales, here's what it looks like. We're going to take the, it's the uh, normal inverse, the rand, rand, uh, random number, the mean, and the standard deviation. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.